Hey you guys, so we're doing another video uh, without my face in it, but just because I'm not feeling well today. But um, I just wanted to say, well before I get into that, I just wanted to give you guys an update on how I'm going, praying before I eat. Um, I won't lie, I forget maybe 50% of the time and then, you know, the other, the other half. Um, I'm very proud of myself when I do remember to pray. I wanted to become a habit. Um, and, you know, it's not a long prayer. It's just being thankful to our God for creating the resources for us to make these wonderful meals that we make. You know, with all of the abundance of ingredients and spices there are in, in the world and, you know, herbs and you know different meats and you know all these things all these different kinds of um grain and i don't go deep into it depending on what i'm eating that's how specific i get and i i'm actually picking this up from the show chosen um just because there's like a variation of almost the same prayer like the root of the prayers the root of the prayer is the same and I'll link it in the description because I won't lie, I'm still reading it from my phone, <laughs> the root of, of the prayer. But basically, um, I'm making spaghetti right now with ragu. And so before I eat, I'll say, you know, God, thank you. Um, you know, I'll say the root prayer. Then I'll go off to say, thank you for creating the animals, um, the animal um, that, you know, I used to make up this meal. Um, thank you for creating the tomatoes. Or you can get as deep and as specific as you want. Um, but I, I don't know why. It just makes me feel so grounded to pray. Um, especially because I'm identifying the ingredients that make up the food that I'm about to eat. It feels, doesn't feel mindless. You know, it doesn't feel, um, it doesn't feel... I don't have the right word. I'm not 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 redundant. Um, yeah, I just feel grounded, like in the moment, because I'm being very mindful um, and aware of what I'm about to put into my body, and it really connects me with God. I feel more and more with my food, um, and it makes the prayer more meaningful instead of just saying, you know, I know I'm supposed to pray before I eat. Let me just say this generic prayer, and then I eat my food. So. That's how I do it. And it's really very short. Like it's probably like less than like 15 seconds, but it makes me feel closer to God um, than ever. And also I'm not using, you know, a generic prayer. Okay. So what did I want to mention? Oh, yes. Yes. And forgive me for mixing this, you know, into one video, but I just wanted to talk about it since we're here and it's on my mind. Um, I just want everyone to know that there are still good people in the world, okay? Um, I was one of those people, maybe like way back in the day, you know, you kind of get jaded in life sometimes, and I think we say things we don't mean, and, you know, there are billions of people on this earth, yes, 100%, there, there are going to be good people. If you can't find them, then you have to do what you need to do to be a beacon to these other people so that so that they can find you. You know, it could just be that, you know, you're antisocial or you're just attracted to the wrong people. So you really got to work on yourself and try to find the good in people because most of us, if not the majority of us, I won't say all because there are truly, truly, truly evil people in this world. But I feel like the everyday people, you know, they're just operating the way they they are for a reason and no you don't have to be around them all the time but you know um we're, we're all special to god that doesn't mean you have to be a, a bestie you know someone doesn't have to be your bestie but there are good people in this world even if you don't agree with them it doesn't make them a bad person they have their reasons for believing whatever they believe and i think we should always try to look at people from that perspective and you know, we all need a group. We all need a community. If you can't find that within your family, then it's up to you to be that beacon and, and, and find find your community, find your tribe, you know. Um, we're all children of God, yes, but, you know, some of us vibe well with others just because of, you know, similar interests, um, 
you know, hobbies, values, morals, you know, whatever it is. Um, so I just want you to know there are good people out there. You know, if you're looking for a wife or a husband, you will find one, you know, but let God do the searching for you. Don't you search. All right. Because you you won't find, you'll find something, but, and you'll think it's probably what you want, but it's not what you were actually looking for. All right. But there is someone for everyone. Not everyone wants to be, you know, in a relationship or be married. Um, but there's someone for you. They're out there. So don't, if you're a woman, don't think, oh my God, all men are bad. And then if you're a man, don't think, oh, all women are bad because your person is out there. They're out there. Okay. And, um, it's the same thing with friendships. The best way to find your tribe is to know yourself, get to know who you are. And if you don't know who you are, you definitely have to surrender to God so he can show you who you are. Some of, some of us lose ourselves, you know, when, when, when we get into high school or college and, you know, we, sometimes you have parents that they might like kill your creativity or whatever it is, you know, you lose yourself, you might lose yourself in your job and you, you're not in touch, you know, with your creative side. So if you don't know what you're good at, take it to God, help him, um, you know, let him help you to discover what it is that you're interested in. And if you have to try a bunch of things, try a bunch of things. And um, yeah, you'll find your tribe. My best friend. Okay, we've been best friends for 10 years. 10. And that is because we just, we met doing something that we really loved. And we had that connection. And we never even had to try. We just clicked. And we got closer over the years as we grew as people. And, you know, she's like, you know, it. listen, it took me a while to like open up. But when you meet the right person, when you meet the right, the right friend, they can see inside you. They can see what you're capable of. You know, they can see that personality in you. Um, Because I was always like myself, like really, truly myself with my family. But when I would go out and meet people, I was kind of like, I was still nice, but, you know, it took me a while to open up. And it definitely took me, um, you know, it took me a few years to just truly, truly be myself. But um, even though it took that time, she was always in my life. And we always had a special place, you know, for each other um, in, in our lives, you know, in each other's lives. So you don't have to be something that you're not, which is the point of that story. You don't have to try to be someone else, you know, you don't have to try to be outgoing. You don't have to try to be like the other person that, you know, you, that you're friends with or that you're clicking with because you're a real friend. They'll be able to see whatever it is in you that, you know, it's there. And then when it comes out, it comes out. And sometimes you just have to grow as a person for, you know, your real personality to always be on display no matter who you're with, you know, whether you're, you're with family or friends or strangers, acquaintances, you know, and yeah, so that's it. Be yourself, be yourself, do things that you enjoy. You will find your tribe, use discernment because just because you fall into your hobby or your creativity, your creativity, it doesn't mean that you'll meet the right person because, um, when I met my friend, we also met other people and not everyone's going to be your best friend, even if you guys have things in common, you know? So this is truly my, my bestie. Okay. So get to know people and the right people will stick around. Okay. But remember, there are good people in this world and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.